Kate the Chemist here, and I am so excited to be sharing with you one of the experiments from my new book, The Awesome Book of Edible Experiments for Kids, in which I have 25 different experiments that you can eat! Yay! So today I'm going to share one of those experiments with you, which is how to make ice cream. So in the book, I share two different ways, and then you can compare the two and see which one is better. Today what I'm going to do is share with you the shorter version um, so that you can follow along with me if you want to. So for those of you that do want to follow along, here's what you need. You're going to need three different bags, so you'll need a gallon size and then two quart size. You're going to need a third a cup of salt. If you have coarse salt available, please try to use that. It just works better in the experiment. You will also need a tablespoon of sugar, three quarters teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, you can add more if you like vanilla. You need one cup of milk and make sure you're using whole milk. We want the fats there. We need those triglycerides, so make sure you use whole milk. You will also need four cups of ice, and crushed ice is better, so definitely want to grab that crushed ice. And then last but not least, you're going to need some kind of hand protection, because our temps are going to get really cold here. Um, so oven mitts will work, uh, work gloves will work, cryogenic gloves will work. You just need something for your hand when we actually start to make the ice cream. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the quart size plastic bag, open it up. If you have one that has the zippy thing, that is better for this experiment, but you know, both will work. All right, so you're gonna open this up. The first thing we're gonna do is dump our milk into it. Remember, we're using whole milk here because we wanna make sure that we have those fats in there, the triglycerides give it that creamy texture, and whole milk has a lot more fat in it than all the other milks. So we want the whole milk. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to take one tablespoon of sugar, dump it right into that bag, okay? And then, let me put this down for a second, I'm gonna zip that up. We're going to add three quarters teaspoon of our vanilla. So let's see if I can get that to sit right there. Oh, I might be able to just add it like this. Oh, perfect. Okay, three quarters teaspoon vanilla, dump it right in. I like vanilla, so I kinda just add a little extra sometimes. All right, so once we're done, you're gonna zip it up, make sure it's nice and sealed, and try to get as much air out as you possibly can. So kind of remove it, give it a good squeeze, and then whoop, seal it up just like that, okay? So then you're gonna grab your second small quart size bag, open it up, you're gonna take the milk mixture, dump it right inside of that, and then again, same thing, close it almost the whole way, squeeze all that air out, and then zip it up, okay? Then you're gonna put that aside. Now grab your really big plastic bag. Open that up, I almost ripped it. <laughs> Open it up. Now you're gonna grab your ice. Put all of your ice in there. Oh, mine has started to freeze to the bottom. There we go. Dump it all in, beautiful. Um, like I said before, crushed ice is better because you can move it around, it's a little bit, a little bit more malleable, um, and that's just easier for us. Then you're going to grab your salt, dump it right in there, give it a little shake, shake, shake. Okay, awesome. Then you're gonna grab this one, give it a little shake, shake, shake. This always makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm convinced one of these days I'm gonna forget to seal it. This is gonna go splat all over my floor. Okay, so our milk mixture is mixed, and now our salt ice mixture is mixed. You can seal it if you want. We'll mix it around a little bit more. Yeah, better, okay, now I feel better about that. We're gonna open it up again, grab that milk mixture, dunk it right in on top of the ice here, and then seal it, seal it, seal it. Again, just like we did before, squeeze it as much as you can, get that air out, and then go like that, so we're sealed. So we have a milk mixture sealed inside of a quart size bag, which is sealed inside a gallon size bag, which has the ice in it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is grab the gloves. Like I said before, any type of gloves will work, oven mitts will work, heat gloves will work. I'm gonna use my cryos because I'm used to them and they're comfy, they're really soft on the inside and I just like wearing them, so I'm gonna use these, but you can use any gloves you want. And now for like five to 10 minutes, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna annoy everybody in your house and make this noise for, I'm not kidding you, about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna sit here and go like this. And we'll zoom ahead in the video so that you don't have to listen to me do that. All right, we're seven minutes in, so I'm gonna stop and see where we're at. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
My hands are cold. Okay. Ooh, we're getting there. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but we're starting to get really thick here. It's definitely still liquidy, but you can definitely tell right here, like there's some chunks in there and it's starting to like solidify. So we just gotta keep going. All right, we're at 10 minutes, so let's stop and see. Still gonna be milky a little bit, but let's, let's see if we have enough here that we can kind of pretend is ice cream. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Oh, it's starting to freeze. It's starting to freeze for sure. Oh, I think we might have some. Okay, let's see here. So, oh, it's on the outside. Okay, so you can kind of see here. It's a little milky. Hold on. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good. Okay, right now it's like a milkshake. So I don't know if you guys can see those chunks that are floating around in there. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. It's definitely starting to form for sure. Got those chunks there. Oh, but right now it's like a milkshake. I don't even know. Oh, that was good. I don't really want to stop. I want to eat that. <laughs> All right, we gotta keep going. Here we go. Mm -mm. Gloves on, because that is cold. All right, we're at 15 minutes, so let's check again. Do not be afraid to add extra bags if your things are starting to pop or if you're worried about any of that. <gasps> okay, definitely thicker for sure. Let's see, we got bags upon bags upon bags here. <gasps> we got ice cream, we got ice cream. Okay, okay, let's see here if I can dump this into a cup for you all so you can see it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So let me show you from the bag. So it's kind of chunky, right? It's not like 100% like what you'd find in um, you know, a classic thing that you'd buy at the grocery store. But so it's nice and chunky. Ah! Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna put some in a bowl here so we can try to look fancy. <laughs> okay, so here's my ice cream. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Yum. Mm. Okay, so how did that work, right? So whole milk has triglycerides in it, which are really fat, and that's what gives the, which are really called fats, I should say, and that's what gives the, the ice cream, it's like really creamy, delicious texture, but it's also what helps it not to freeze. Mmm, yum. Okay, so because if it, if it didn't have those fats in there, what would happen is when we put the milk into the bag and then put the bag into the water, that whole thing would freeze, and so you'd end up with like a milk, ice cube instead of like this creamy, delicious ice cream like texture. Now, what's cool about this, our little salt water situation here, is when we add the salt to the water or the ice cubes, what happens is something called freezing point depression occurs. And so the temperature drops to something around negative 20 degrees Celsius when regular ice water is usually around zero degrees Celsius. So the drop in temperature is what allows for us to drop the temperature of our ice cream. And that's what gives us this Mmm, mmm, that's like creamy, delicious wonderfulness. Oh God, I love it. So there's a whole nother way to make ice cream that makes it a little bit prettier than this, even though this one tastes pretty good. Um, but both methods are in the awesome book of edible experiments for kids. I hope you guys check it out. Um, but until then, I will see you guys later. Have a great week and take care of yourselves. Bye guys, do a science experiment. If you want to do more edible experiments, check out the awesome book of edible experiments for kids on sale in stores near you.